Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Curly Get Glam. I just want to come and do a really quick video because I just finished washing my hair. Oh, I needed it. You know how sometimes, girl, when you wash your hair, your scalp just feels like, hallelujah. That's how my scalp felt. Like, seriously, like, whew. But I just finished detangling and now my hair is drying up a little bit, but the shrinkage is real. I just wanted to come and let y'all see my curls. These curls are a little elongated because of blow drying, but I'm trying to get my curls to revert back. But um, what I used on my hair was um, some extra virgin olive oil that you can find at your local Walmart, y'all. I try to do the um the lock method where you you know you um shoot the lock method where you detangle and then you use your oil and then the cream. So what I did was um I know my hair's probably been feeling extra dry and everything because I've been wearing wigs a lot and it's also still winter so it's a lot of arctic wind still going on. It's still very cold here in North Carolina. Um, the weather is very un indecisive. It doesn't know what it wants to be. You know, one day it's 80 degrees, the next day it's like 17. So, in between time, I've been wearing wigs. Also, um, just here recently, I, um, you know how when you create your own wigs and you use elastic bands in them, um, my elastic band had irritated the back of my head because of my braids being pulled up. You know how you had the back of your braids? And my elastic band has, was pulling. So I'm trying to give my hair um, a little break in the back from wearing wigs with elastic bands. Because I just don't want my hair to be thin in the back. And y'all know tension alopecia is definitely real. So if you feel like your hair is being um, tug on, you feel tension, it's important that you notice that. Because you do want to retain hair growth in you know follicle stimulation in that area you don't you do not want your hair to become thin and you know to stop eventually growing in that area so what i did was like i said i continue to put my oil back there you know to rub your follicles and stimulate your follicles you know because your hair is like a plant and you have to take care of it if you want it to grow and so what i did put on there after i did that was this pantene leave-on detangling milk and I absolutely love this stuff. I tried it on a whim. I think I bought it from either Sands Beauty or Diva Trust, one of the two. Um, I'm actually considering buying the whole entire line once I am done using my Suave Naturals. Um, because I really, really like this Pantene line. And I really think that it caters to women of color that have kinkier textures. Um... The Pantene, the Tangling Milk definitely gives me a great slip. And for some reason, I have a softer and I, I think a finer texture of hair. So, that this just gives my hair so much slip. And it just, anytime I put it on my hair, it's just like butter. All I have to do is, even, even this morning when I was slicking my hair up for a ponytail, all I did was dab my hair a little bit i didn't even get it really wet and i put it on there and my hair just detangled with ease and then after i put that detangling milk on there i did go in with my cantu for natural hair coconut curling cream um um i know this smell might be a little strong for some people but it does have a really coconutty tropical smell um but it's a really thick cream and i think it was perfect and what I needed for my hair because it definitely has that creamy thick texture that I need for this winter air and I definitely want to dry not dry I want to moisturize my curls and help get them back to where they used to because I have I've with all this wedding planning and everything going on I haven't been taking the best care of my hair because I'm back and forth all the time and I just say what the heck you know, I'm trying, but my natural hair is about a little past the shoulder length. So it's it's medium length. I think I would say it's a medium length, a medium length hair. 
And what I want to do is just I want to bring my, you know, I want to bring my natural hair back to him. Um, up here, I have a looser. I don't know what kind of natural curl pattern that I have, but I do have a looser curl pattern up here versus back here is where it gets tight and more coily, as you can see. But at the top, it's more of a, a looser texture right here. But um, yes, the shrinkage is real. So as my hair is dry, my curls were elongated as I was doing them. But this is how long my hair is in the back. But that's how. And then up in the top. This is how long my hair is. So yeah, I'm trying. And um, also, what I did put on the back of my hair, on the back of that spot that I was just telling you guys about where it was rubbed at, uh, I put some Jamaican black castor oil. Um, it was mixed with it's Jamaican black castor oil, but it has um, peppermint added to it because that's the way I bought it. Um, I put that on that spot and just, you know, rubbed it in just to, you know, stimulate those follicles back because i really don't want my hair to be thin in that spot but um yeah y'all so i just wanted to come to you guys and you know give you a little natural hair update let y'all see my my curls even though this is horrible 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 lighting and that's about it i know i'm on camera looking rough and whatever but you know the steps to get to beauty you know what i'm saying it's a process it is a process but yes y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will be back with more videos you know i want to try some little natural hair stuff but you know i gotta work my way up you know what i'm saying and get more time on my hands because right now i do not have the time but don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter at curly k glam and i will be back with more videos deuces